Hi, my name is Mary Amesbury and welcome to lesson two in the Easing Anxiety Through Faith uh, video course. Today's lesson is called Cultivating Your Inner Life and it is, it's about laying that foundation um, so that when anxiety strikes we know, what to, we know where to go. Um, so many years, way too many years. I spent being so much in my head that um, I rarely had peace. I rarely had confidence in my relationship with Jesus Christ. And so I'm hoping that, that something in these lessons uh, will be a help to you um, in your journey with Jesus. You know, Jesus doesn't want his followers to be undone by anxiety. He wants us to trust him and to find our peace in him. Jeremiah 17, 5 through 6 says, Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord. or He shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness and a salt land which is not inhabited. The one who trusts in himself or in other people and makes humans his source of deliverance will be like a, a shrub in the desert, like a dry tumbleweed that blows here and there, wherever the wind takes it. It's an apt description of a person controlled by anxiety. Their soul is so dry that even when good comes, they don't see it. Such a person will be consumed by anxiety and a lack of peace. Jeremiah continues the contrast, but this is the good part. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8. Those who rely on the faithful Lord will have a secret source of peace, even in the difficult times. The one who hopes in the Lord remains green and fruitful, even after a year of drought. The one who trusts in the Lord spreads out their roots by the river, cultivating that inner life. In a natural tree, the roots spread out, seeking water and oxygen and minerals in the soil. And since the roots of a tree can become two to four times the diameter of the crown of the tree, they give the tree stability as well as nourishment. The preparation of the inner life is an antidote for anxiety for the long term. As Christians, we need to prepare our spiritual roots ahead of the drought. If we develop good roots, we'll have something to hold us up when the heat of anxiety comes. The Bible is the source of wisdom for how to find peace. We need to learn to enjoy it and spend time in it, discovering what our Savior and Shepherd has provided for us. Psalm 119, 165 says, Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. It's good good advice, good wisdom from a God who loves us so much that he's provided his word for us as an antidote to anxiety, as a help when we struggle. So what things make up a strong spiritual root system? Number one, focusing your mind on God when fears arise. Isaiah 26, 3 through 4 says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For in Yah, the Lord is everlasting strength. Another thing that we can do to strengthen our roots is knowing and relying on the promises of God. One of my favorite verses, I, I know I say it a lot, I got a lot of favorite verses, but 2 Peter 1, 3 through 4, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue 
by which we have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Another thing that we can do is resting in the faithfulness of God. Luke 12, 29 through 31 says, And do not seek what you should eat or what you should drink, nor have an anxious mind. For all these things the nations of the world seek after. And your Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. Our Heavenly Father already knows what we need. We don't have to beg and plead and, and send out billboards to tell Him what's going on in our lives. He knows and He cares. Another spiritual root is counting on the love and mercy of God. Micah 7, 18 through 19 says, He delights in mercy and he will again have compassion on us, and he will subdue our iniquities. He will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. Another spiritual root is learning to, to nestle into the Lord's protection. Psalm 4, 8 says, I will both lie down in peace and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me to dwell in safety. We need to learn to be delighting in God's perfect will. Romans 12, 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And another one is, is being confident in the power of prayer. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. What a promise that is. What a delight that God gives us the vehicle of prayer so that we can bring all that concerns us to Him. The last root I have in this one, although there's probably lots of different ways to develop our dependence upon God, is worshiping when you want to worry. 1 Chronicles 16, 23 through 24 says, Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim the good news of His salvation from day to day declaring his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. When we worship, we transfer our focus from us and what is weighing us down to the perfect one who can take care of whatever is weighing us down. And it, that shift in focus makes all the difference. So thanks for listening through on this one. We'll come back next week with some more tips and tricks and ways to to see your anxiety eased through faith thanks for watching